All right, Shalom. I'd like to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shabbat, Shem, Rakakodash, double honors to the elder apostles and the elders at Great Millstone and GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. All right, uh, just want to update uh, on this coronavirus, which they're now calling it uh, COVID 19. All right, and um, something I want to point out real quick this video down underneath, which, which reads, what will be the economic cost of the novel coronavirus, okay? And that was from two days ago by CNA Insider, all right? But I want to play an excerpt from this video, which is on BBC News, all right, from the World Health Organization, which acronym is WHO, okay? And get his take and let him say what he has to say. And then uh, I want to go into some... Uh, some steel shots that I took about the officials in Wuhan actually lying about the the total number of uh, deaths from this virus. OK, so without further ado, let me play this. Developing countries, here's the latest update from the WHO's director general. If this virus makes it to a weaker health system, it will create havoc. To be honest, a virus is more powerful in creating political, economic, and social upheaval than any terrorist attack. Well, I all right, and that's all I wanted to get from that. He said that 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 a virus is more, uh, more of a threat. Is it can cause more havoc than a terrorist attack? Okay, on world economics. Okay, politics. Okay, which all tie in together. Okay. Now, let me get these steel shots that I took from NDTV, okay? And uh, what was happening here on this uh, video, which I'm not going to play it for the sake of time, is that we, there was an investigator that called into a funeral home in Wuhan, okay, China, and posed as a public official to get true numbers of how many bodies they were receiving and how actually how many... Uh, people were dying from this virus okay now it says um the investigator says sure please go ahead it says i received a total of 127 corpses yesterday cremated 116 the number of confirmed pneumonia cases was eight okay so let's go to the next one it says 48 cases as written on their death certificates. I have all the death certificates in my hand. Okay. And let me come back to that. Okay. It says 38% were from hospitals and 61% died at home. So a few days ago, things really got bad. Okay. Um, the, as a matter of fact, let me read what the investigator said first. Some of them fell on the road and they wouldn't. Uh, necessarily go to the hospital right she said uh 38 percent were from hospitals and 61 percent died at home so a few days ago things were really bad okay um same thing okay i'll tell you that yesterday was not the highest and is still increasing that's why i called to ask if you can still handle it that's why OK, it said and then the funeral director says, I can't stand it anymore. I told my chief yesterday that I was going crazy. Now, can you imagine all those corpses coming in there and they're cremating bodies around the clock? That would bug you out, man. OK, even if you're used to dealing in that that, that type of business, you know, the funeral home uh, business, having that many seeing those many dead people coming in there. And you working around the clock cremating them, that that would drive you mad. Okay, it says I can't stand it anymore. I told my chief yesterday that I was going crazy. I was going to jump off a building. Okay, explanation point. Now whether they were being sarcastic or whatever, but this would drive, you know, a normal per normal person insane. Okay, so let's go to the next one. It says, uh, most of them are now. Yes, these unscrupulous officials in Wuhan. Have made a mess of managing the city. Okay. Okay. You can rest assured. If they are always like this. I can imagine what will happen. Okay. Now let's go to the numbers that were given. Okay. 
it said that 6% were actually being reported. So they did the math, and this is what they came up with. So the official death toll in mainland China was 908. So they're only reporting 6%. So this was the actual number that it would be. They said over 10,000, which you can see 144, okay? And that number keep popping up, okay? So the actual death toll was around 14,451, okay? So they're trying to suppress the true numbers, not as to cause a worldwide panic, okay? And I got one scripture. This is just a little quick, quick hit, okay? Just a little update on what's really going on, okay? So let's just leave that right there. Matter of fact, I'm going to do this. How is that? Beautiful. Okay. Let's bring out a scripture. All right. This is the book of Ecclesiastes. And it says, uh, chapter 12 and verse uh, 3. It says, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. All right. The keepers of the house are talking about these economists, man. Okay. And the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease. Because they are few, and those that look out of a window be darkened, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. Okay? And that's what we're coming to. Okay? This is not only going to affect China's economy. This is going to affect the world economy. And it's affecting the world economy. I've heard testimonies from certain brothers, you know, in the camp. One brother had gave a testimony because... He deals in sales, okay, that they came to them and told them, hey, things are slowing way down because they importing from China, okay? So we see where this is going, all right? This is having a global effect. And as you know, I wanted to point out through the spirit that these officials are lying about the true death, the, the true death toll, okay? So that's just a little update on the COVID-19, which is what they're calling it now. All right. Which you can go and look it up what it stands for on your own. You can just watch the first video I played. All right. And. Um, this thing is a pandemic, man, that keeps saying epidemic is a pandemic. OK, because this is going to have a global effect and could very well lead into the implementation of. Or the, the mandatory implementation of the mark of the beast. Okay. So with that. You know Lord willing. This was edifying. You know a little, little bit more uh, fuel for the fire. Alright. Um, and again I'm going to give all praise on and glory to the heavenly father. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Alright. Basham Rechak Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders at Great Millstone and GMS. Peace and blessings to the elect. And this is the brother Atazaria. From the GMS Houston camp. And it's on to the next one. Until then I say Shalom.